In this video, I'm covering how to get paid faster using Salesforce billing. In order to decrease your days to get paid, you will want to consider what type of payment you accept. In this video, we're also going to talk about the pros and cons of taking analog payments. For this conversation, we will consider that an analog payment is any form of payment that requires a physical instrument to change hands. So we're talking about cash, cashier's checks, money orders, and yeah, plain old paper checks. Now there are some businesses who only take paper check. And you know what? That does make sense for some of these customers. For instance, if your business primarily deals in a single country and solely handles larger payments, let's say over $10,000 a piece, then it is possible that only taking payments in this method is possibly a good idea for your business. For the vast majority of organizations, the data shows that taking electronic debits is far more efficient and far less expensive than taking paper checks. The reality is that here in the US, 97% of all businesses actually take some paper checks every year. However, today businesses only taking analog payments are diminishing quickly, right? Think about it like this. When was the last time that you weren't able to use a card or some other digital form of payment at checkout or to pay an invoice? Maybe that street taco stand that you were at the other night. However, even street vendors can take cards these days. Think about the square iPhone reader that was around a few years ago, right? Everybody was using those. There are even systems for buskers, you know, street musicians, to go ahead and get paid via cart. It's a fairly safe bet to say that if you're using Salesforce, then you're likely not a cash-only business. Of course, some exceptions to this rule will apply. It is more likely that you are one of the few remaining businesses that are only taking paper checks. In 2016, the American Association of Financial Professionals surveyed businesses here in the US. And at that time, only 3% of those surveyed no longer took a single check at all. So only 3% of businesses in the US had absolutely no checks incoming or outgoing for payments, only 3%. In the rest of the world, the numbers are actually pretty much the inverse of this. One example is in Australia, only 1.5% of businesses in Australia take any paper check whatsoever. In the US, we are the laggard in this particular area. We are close to being the final country that is clinging desperately to this archaic form of payment. So please, please stop taking paper checks. I am begging you to stop. Please stop the madness. Why, you might be asking. Well, there's actually quite a few good reasons. First off, they're one of the slowest ways to get your money. How long does it take for a check to get to you, for you to review the check, for it to get into the accounting system, to get the check to your bank, then finally have the bank funded into your bank account? This process takes days, am I right? If you wanna get paid faster, then stop taking checks. On top of that, all of that takes an incredible amount of time and energy. Additionally, checks are also very costly for your customers to write. That 2016 AFP survey I cited earlier also showed that some businesses report that writing a check costs them $10 per check. Then there's the fact that checks are actually super susceptible to fraud. We don't always think about this, but there are a lot of different types of check fraud out there. For example, there's counterfeit checks. There's situations where an employee could write an unapproved or fraudulent check. There's this act of paper hanging where someone writes a check on a account that's closed. And there's also kiting checks between multiple banks and the list goes on. The reality is that the checking system simply lacks the ability to properly safeguard your organization and therefore your profit from fraud. The American financial professionals did a survey that reported that businesses lose about 1.5% of their total revenue to check fraud. So please, please stop taking checks. I am begging of you to stop. Please stop the madness. Okay, enough with my anti-check evangelism. Let's deal with what we're here to talk about, which is how to manage payments in Salesforce billing and get you paid faster. If you only take analog payments, then your option when working in Salesforce billing is simply to create payment records and the associated payment allocation records. And you can do this manually by simply creating the records like you would any other record inside of Salesforce. Let's review the process quickly. First, create a payment record. Next, create the payment allocations. And finally, associate those payments 
to the correct invoices. If you process many checks per day, or you just want to automate the process, you can use the lockbox function in Salesforce Billing. The lockbox feature integrates with your bank, and then automatically creates these records for you. You and your team will of course still reconcile. The Salesforce Billing lockbox feature is mostly meant to help reduce the data entry with all of this. So you might be saying to me, hey look, uh, if I shouldn't take checks, uh, then what exactly should I do? And that's a great question. You and I are gonna cover that in the next video in this series. Do you think that you know what the answer is? Awesome, tell me in the comments below. I've got a custom Chargent Contigo for the first person to get it right. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, to comment, and to subscribe. And check out our next video here. Don't hesitate to reach out. We are always here to help.